Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. Hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back to the last day of Got Miss, my little oval eating tasting countdown to Christmas. If you've missed the past four days, I shall direct you to the playlist there and there where you can see me eat other squelchy bits. So my last two countdowns to Christmas, I highlighted bugs and I called it bug miss. And every day for five days to Christmas, I ate some type of bug. This year, I decided to highlight oval or little bits that we don't necessarily consider when we consider eating meat. So there's a long tradition of eating these little bits of meat and it hasn't been until recently that people have gotten squeamish about them and they've become less popular. But if you do a little research, there is a long tradition of eating these kinds of bits. And in the case of pork brains, they are still very popular in the Midwest. In St. Louis and in Indiana, pork brain sandwiches are very, very popular. In that case, they're deep fried and battered, a very thick batter, and then placed between two pieces of white bread, either toasted or sometimes hamburger buns. And that is a brain sandwich. So besides the Midwest, brains are also enjoyed down in the South, and they're often paired with eggs, as in scrambled eggs. It's called brain and eggs, and it's often served for breakfast. So that's what I'm going to be preparing today. I have had brains once before, and they're packaged in a can. It was Rose's brand and a little bit of milk gravy, and I just had them straight out of the can on a piece of cracker, but I've never actually prepared them raw. So I purchased my pork brains at an Asian market, came in a one pound tub, and they were frozen. So I let them thaw in my refrigerator overnight, then I took them out, and then I gave them a good wash, just a gentle wash. The brains are very, very delicate. And then I've allowed them to soak in some more cool water for about a half an hour. Traditionally, cow's brains were consumed. They're a little bit larger, and the cow's brains have a bit of a membrane. The pork brains don't really have much of a membrane to clean up, so there's not much cleaning to be done with the pork brains, but look at that. Isn't it beautiful? They're so soft and tender and delicate. Okay, here's the brain stem. This connects to the spine, cerebellum down below. Have any of you had brains before? Are you? Does this make you squeamish? If this makes you squeamish, I don't understand why you're watching this in the first place, but at any rate, okay. And I am a big fan of this type of eating. I like the fact that nothing goes to waste and this is actually delicious eats. It's just a matter of knowing the right technique and the right recipes to apply to them, right? So now that we have our clean brains, we're going to poach them, and boil them in a little bit of water, and this will solidify them a little bit and make cooking them and frying them a little bit easier. So I've got some water here. I'm gonna add some salt and I'm gonna add some lime juice. You can use lemon juice, but I've read at different places that you can acidulate the water and I think that's supposed to help kind of congeal them. Now I'm gonna gently place my brains into the water. N not my brains, but th the pork brains. <laughs> there we go. Give these a gentle stir. Look at the change in color. I believe that's what they call gray matter. <laughs> you know, it's funny, I've embraced jokes a lot more since I've had children and when I pack my son's lunch I write him a little joke I, I look them up and I write them jokes and it's so sweet to send your kid off with a little bit of note saying that you love them and a little corny joke right all those dendrites and axons now it's coming to a simmer I'm gonna let that go for 10 minutes okay be right back our brains have been boiling away here and now we're going to drain them I'm using this spider here Let's see if I can get them in one fell swoop. Love this tool, by the way. And I'm gonna just drain them onto a rack. So I put them onto a rack to dry off a little bit because I'm going to saute them in a little bit of butter. And the drier they are, the crisper they'll get. So this is what they look like after they've been poached. Butter, butter, butter. Butter. butter melting in there, I'm going to go ahead and add my brains. Look at that, that's a beautiful cross section there. Oh, that's gorgeous! That's butter, man, that's what butter does. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing already. And as Emma Lagasse would say, we season at every step. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. We'll add more when we add our eggs. So in my first brain tasting, someone left a comment saying that they're very high in cholesterol. Not surprising. Lots of wonderful things are. And now I'm going to scramble my eggs. 
I've already added a little bit of salt and pepper. All right, so while that's scrambling, I'm gonna toss my brains back in there. Turn down that heat, because that's way hot. All right, I think our meal is done. This is looking phenomenal. Bright yellow eggs, big old pieces of brain. And here is my plate of brain and eggs. It looks delicious. I went ahead and toasted up a English muffin and now I am ready for my second breakfast. All right, I also have some ketchup and hot sauce. Not sure if these are at all traditional. If you eat this for breakfast, let me know. Whenever I have eggs, I like to have these next to me. So, yeah. But first, let's try it without. Let's try a little bit of the brain by itself first. Happy Gutmas, happy holidays. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Ooh. It has a wonderful texture, very creamy, and just so very, very, very tender and very smooth. In terms of the flavor, it's got a light porky flavor. It's nice that it was kind of brined and seasoned while we pan fried it because there's a little bit of saltiness, but a very light, creamy, meaty texture and flavor. Delicious. Now let's have some with the egg. For me, it's all about the texture. It's like natural pate or something. It's so creamy and soft. Like, look how soft it is. Mmm. <laughs> mmm, mmm, mmm. Really great with the eggs. The texture quality of both of those things are really nice. The eggs have a slightly more bouncy texture than the creamy brains. They're both very rich and full of protein, and they complement each other really nicely. And that butter, is fantastic. The brains have a very slight minerally irony flavor, a little bit like liver, but not nearly as strong, but just a tinge of that. I love it. Let me have some with my toast. I think this is gonna be phenomenal because of the textural contrast that's gonna happen right here. Crispy bread, ugh, oh, here we go. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. All right, now I'm gonna have some with hot sauce. Mm. This is fantastic and absolutely no brainer of a breakfast. I just said no brainer. <laughs> Completely natural accompaniment with the scrambled eggs brains and that makes it a no brainer. <laughs> that does something to my brain. That, <laughs> why do I keep saying brain buns? That does something to me. The combination of eggs and ketchup is completely immediately transportive. It's like, brrr, like back to brunch when you were a kid. Absolutely. I love how food and sights and smells in particular are able to do that. So there you have it, brains and eggs for my last day of Gutmas. Hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful, safe, happy holidays. Thank you guys so much for being with me and for supporting me and loving my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Be sure to share Gutmas with your friends. Follow me on social media so you know what videos are coming up next and what goes on in my life besides making these videos. And I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs> oh man. Happy holidays, happy holidays to you.